Oh, they could win this in 2-0 fashion on their map pick. Or Wave could just have a dominant performance like they did yesterday. Take us to that map free of Icebox. All still to play for. And Big looking to more default early on in this round. And as you see, mid control obtained by Aslan. Directly going for ropes. The mans are fast. The man are quick. And uh, it hits them. But that also could be a clear indicator of at least being a wired down there it still exists funny wise with all the shots exchanged in that narrow room nothing has hit it ow oh it's Obnox falls into the pit of despair and wave out on top it's a five versus three now as wave esports not actually dedicating anymore these three attackers all sort of Go posted around the map in different vision. areas they're gonna go for a bit of b heaven play Alex is going to continue to lurch and gets caught out from Yuri. A lot of respect given, actually. We see Nico completely give up the position he was in on B Heaven to play more CT. He's going to be met with that early engagement through the flash. And actually, Cider ducking and diving away from the classic shots. It isn't enough. Got B has to 1 before clutch it out to ace bit. He's got two, but Wave just came in too quickly. That would have been too much. That would have been way too much to make that work but at the end of the day wave are leading the charge brilliant stuff coming from their side obviously defense right this is this is, a, this is a matter of fact that we have to point out when it comes to split very crucial help and this uh, just you know speculating icebox would be the third i don't see that really happening if big find a few of those attack rounds because we saw how strong they can be when they only hold the sides Big. The central control is going to be important. You could hear the pepper in a frenzy shots against the wall that's been put down on A main. It's just a one player over there, but it takes the attention of two defenders. A ramp. And now A screens now as the Sage is backed up all the way for Wave. Big have been able to take a lot of central positioning, but the key areas of the map are the ones that Wave Esports have control of. Muri only has the Frenzy here. Gonna jiggle peek a little bit to see what kind of information he can get. Enough to want to throw out the utility. They haven't given up to the Omen. Definitely not enough. Opnox is realizing anytime soon that there's a tripwire around. They have stacked that B site. Definitely making sure what's up. Alex, quick eye contact. Move yep. the opponent. Oh, I'm safe. good to worlds. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> It's interesting that this is the plan, though. Big just having one player on A, it's it's forcing Wave to respect it. They backed up a considerable amount, expecting left. a bit more of a split. And look at this. The B heaven control over to CT spawn. They're going to go in behind. It's a shame that Alex dies in that process. Spike down. They might just all line up now for Kaka to get remaining. those kills. Yeah, good stuff from Aslan. I mean, Spectre gets out. No further crack. He should fight. No, ain't happening. And this gives us... A little taste of this second game. Specifically, Wave on a defense. Obviously, big advantage spot. One enemy remaining. But Big has made, you know, when we talk about split previously to Big, right? I, I think their slow approach was weird, to be frank. Somewhat weird when we consider that they played against all the rage, somewhat of a mixed team. At the same time, they made it work quite decently in most of the rounds, though they struggled there from time to time. If Wave have a better understanding of that, which I could imagine due to the fact that they are a proper and better team, I just don't know. Alex is going to hear this movement away from the Omen. A double stack now making its way down on ramp. These aren't big buy-ups as well by Wave. They really want to play the bonus round, even if that bonus round includes just holding on to a frenzy. Sider gets the little slip around and gets one before Big trade him out. I've got B. Flashing has to check all of these corners. It's not really looking to expect Carcass on that corner. That's the spike. The flashing hand isn't good enough. And Big, they still have the numbers, but they have to clear up this Sage behind them. One enemy remaining. What a weird approach, really. I mean... Here's Res. Yeah, additional to that, that they seemed so reckless over the matter of fact that the opponent can do the same what they did because it just rotated around the positions that were free. Now, 
fuck is this slowing ass slam? I mean, he could move deep down into mid and get the revive from there. Is it really worth it is the question to him. It's one of those things where Big now have to pick left. up the spike. There's 30 seconds left. They have to go plant this. Check this corner. They don't. I mean, that's the area that I thought that maybe Carcass was hoping that Big overall as the two team players that left would all move to the site and just play the objective. It's smart play. Obnox, obviously, if that corner gets checked, brings it down to 1v1. The res is available, a 2v1 in favor of Wave. Could have gone awkwardly, but Big took a gamble. It went relatively well. They get the first round. Like I said, Wavy Sports some of them were running with frenzies. It wasn't really that impactful overall. They can still fully buy. They have a resurrect now, just in case it goes a bit awry. Big. And plenty to work with now off the board. It's gonna be a bit more of a punchy execute. This is Watching this angle, the flashes should be there from Godby to clear it, but it's not necessary. Alexar slipping in underneath the top or the bottom of the one way. Is it playing on the site? Is it going to be checked? It's been at least slowed off, but no. Alexar just get taken down before Aslan can instantly trade it out. Three players now from Wave manage to make their way onto the site just as the spike gets planted and goes down. Yuri slowly trying to go for this peek through the slow up. Might expect a player in that corner. He does. Sider checks it, plays it. Nobody's there to trade. Godby now on this side. These last players holding on. The key part of this is going to be Obnox. He's on heaven. This disappearance is now starting to come through. He's the savior they need. He gets that 2k. Big, even up the score. Wavy spots money is not going to be good. The rolling thunder has been achieved from Godby. And I like the idea of having this pinch from screens, from A main, but nobody checking heaven, not knowing Obnox was going to go in one of these lurks. A big area overall. So nice play from Big to mm. even up these scores. Ooh, judges. <laughs> even three of them. Not for, I would have been cool to see all three of them, because they're a rare sight. Oh, come on. How, how can you be so disappointed? A real tease on the side. I mean, that's 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 yeah. not the first time that I think these yeah. teams have had that said to them recently, I'll be honest. <laughs> I mean, big especially, like, they've been doing okay, right? They, they've, they've not been completely unapologetically bad, I think, over their, their short course in Valorant. Mm -hmm. But this is a massive organization. Certainly when it comes to other tactical shooters like Counter-Strike, Big want to find that level of impact. They can do that in their own region, but it really is How just these two on? teams that are contending for those top spots within uh, the dark German area of Europe. Uh, on the much grander scale, neither Wave nor Big have really been able to have that. And there's more. He's trying his best, but the shorty obviously can only deal some damage, not the most. Fighters close range judge. I'm just looking forward to that. Make it, do it, make the move. This is good damage. It's not enough. And 34, and I guess 20 left. over there on Sage. Uh, it's not good. It's not good considering the pistols. Are they going to take this corner for Nico? Oh, they do, but they do it horribly. Oh, no. oh the low health that Aslan was on makes this super expensive now for Big. Alex needs to get the spike planted. 12 seconds left. He needs to clear some of these angles too. The Resurrect brings this to a one versus three. The slow up might keep Alexar just in his place. He has to hop down. Sees Cider. There's going to be one on top, but can't win the duel. Can't connect onto the headshot of Carcass. And this Judge Thrifty round probably shouldn't have worked as well as it did for Wave just then. Thrifty one more. You know, more judges would have been more success if you had to. Even a little unfortunate because he dealt something along the lines of, I don't know, 260 damage or something with, with, with just that judge. Big, big time, big time. Oh, it's a lot of damage. I'm yeah. surprised he only got the one kill, to be honest. Did he even? I think he didn't even kill one. He got one kill. He oh, got right. one. And there was he did damage to three. One of which was like 20 health because that was Aslan. Mm-hmm. But man, if you're Bishop, you're looking back at that in disappointment, you know. Jump peeking a, a frenzy and dying that way. 
An unfortunate turning point. But it's okay, Big. Don't panic. Don't panic. You still have money to have this buy. You have all five of your ultimates available. Can you make them work? Can you do much with them? It's hard to say, but Muri... The Aldron. The Boombot is going to be the one that gets that information. He's going to bowl down the paint shell to the lower ground. And then just maybe phases Alex a little bit, but he's going to continue his pro on A-Ram. Here they come. There's more. And they are close. Somebody needs to break the wall. Oh, no. They're finally. Jeez, I mean, that he still gets a frack is ridiculous. And Carcass was pretty much not assessing this risk right. And Wave, you will not man is advantaged by one, revive even from big, make it two, they have full forces, but oh, the shooting gallery from Zig, it seems like it's just Olympic shooting as he shoots him out from here, Zig's on it, more to come, the double from Cypher, but the plan comes in nevertheless. They managed to just isolate these defenders still on the site. This is really weird if you're Wave, but you've managed to put big in between a rock and a hard place. This is where Obnox likes to shine though. He's still on top of the rafters, but are they going to expect Cider that's starting to loom in behind? Uh, utility for Breach is going to make it a bit more problematic, but Cider's in a great spot. Yes. Tries best. Nico's not going to make it that easy, does he? He's slowed yet again as he hopes and tries to make anything work. The wall is his opponent, Obnox is as well. I like the approach of just, there's players, there's defenders on the site. We're just going to wall up and pretend they're not there. Oh, How many ultimates we used though in this round? Rolling Thunder, the showstopper. We saw the Caustic Divide coming in. We then saw the Resurrect. Four ultimates dedicated into just this round alone. And it came down to pretty low numbers overall for Big. They had to throw the kitchen sink at this round to make it close. Still. Wave have to eco. They have a showstopper, rolling thunder, and a judge. Scary enough. I mean, it's been scary enough in the past when you deal 300 plus damage with just a few pellets. It's not going to be that easy. But big set sail to victory. And then as they try to gravitate in that direction, right there. Very impressive stuff we've seen from them on a map where their attacking set has not been that right convincing there. in the past. Considering right specifically there. yesterday. And. <laughs> Cops yeah. like, should I do left, right, and center in that flash? I mean, you compare that round the big that just won, four ultimates, and kind of got sweaty in some parts, to the round that Wave got previously, too, where they won it in a thrifty. It's easier for one team more than the other right now, it's safe to say. Big is still managing to keep the scores even, but it's just taken them twice as much effort to do that. Wavy spots have a lesser buy, but you still kind of fancy him in some of these engagements. Not sure where they've put this judge down. But the Omen Cider is there with the Sheriff watching this angle. Is going to run into Alexar very soon. Wave are just sitting pretty right now. They do. They now try to make the move. What can Cider do? They all just running him. He's not flashed. He's his position. He gets Alex. Okay. Crucial frack. The response is there. Same comes from Murray, by the way. So the spike has to be picked up. They still need control of the side, and they just have it on the radar. Opnox is taking Murray. That's going down, but the old is uncomfortable, ugly, and disgusting. And once more, the judge. Oh. Once more, it comes, and he speaks the verdict. Opnox still trying. Five seconds to make. Standing. He needs to get the kill. He's got no time. This is what I mean. Why is it so much of a challenge for Big to break through? The showstopper gets dedicated. And just side of winning that early duel on B main. It's a bit of a mess from here on out. And Carcass with that judge continues to be incredibly scary. Big are having to sweat to make these rounds close and wave with worse weaponry are winning them out time and time again. This doesn't bode well for Big to win this series out 2-0. But they just need to get as much damage done as possible on the attack and just hope that their defense is a bit more of a coast through. And the scop making a move towards the A side. The veteran IGL dictates the pace and tells them Great old. that A is coming up. Insane. So much space that he's able. Nobody's checking this place. They're not playing from this position. So Obnox 
has slipped in. I don't know if they're going to so expect smart. it to be in this position, but they have to do it carefully. Nice jump peek from Zik. They have the utility to clear him if they want to. The flash is a good one, but Obnox still wins the duel. Revive is coming in. It's costly. That's that's a good thing, right? It's costly. And oh, look how he's, he's stuck behind a rock in a hard place. No one's get killed. Bishop is still starting up. This gives Aslan a lot of space. As a matter of fact that he can play this either by flanking or up from heaven. He might just have a brutal opportunity here, Ryan. Just hold on as much as he can, Big. It's coming in thick and fast, but Aslan oh. with the flank is shut down from Zik. He has been so pivotal in this round alone. Bobby standing out in the open, challenging face me. Marcus does, he wins it, but Alexar can't flick around in time. Zik hops down from heaven just as Alexar gets those two kills. Defuse comes in the fifth round for Wave. It's gonna wonder if there was enough time there, but it does allow a bit more progress to be made towards that showstopper as the neural theft is there already for Zeke. Man, they can make it a close, but they're falling at the last turn. They do. Last player standing. And I am honestly astonished. How big give those rounds away, right? They have side control. The ult was even more than decent. He's first of all costing them time, costing them ult, and costing them a life, which then at the end gets picked up again. But still, and, and once they've reached the site, they still don't find the way to obtain control. Now, as both these teams have been trading out the rounds, they just started to slip a little bit. Wave have managed to make some headway, and Eco has been forced out from the attacking team. Other than a hero rifle from God B himself. No more charges Camera there. is predicted at least. Is Zik gonna peek off of it? It's just scaring big, even when big are managing to take some aggressive space. They have to deal with this just annoying cipher player overall. He's gonna pick another peek. The jump check from Zik is another great one, and it allows that utility to come in. It's nice support overall that we're seeing out of Nico. Zik gets that information, there's always a flash available to help him out. And this is so good how they delayed him again, and then they try again, and certainly the delay is once more put down. Amazing what Wave are doing right now here on the defense. The, the direction is set, B side it is going to be, and that's going to be the team of Big trying their best capitalize on him but suddenly wow. Zik, Nico and Ko they just lock it down no trespassing allowed the immense advantage of play continues only losing that one player over on the back of the B site it's not too much of an issue if anything it might be helpful because it allows that shield stopper to maybe come online for Muri rather quickly we saw a lot of this from wave over on that bind map against Mako just the execute coming in, them all lining up nicely, and just a firing squad of players waiting for them. Big now, they don't want this half to end 9 3 for Wave. They want to continue to perform, and this round is a big one. Have a lot to work with. The Rolling Thunder, the Cosmic Divide. It's still just going to be the central default with two players now in A main. Wave Esports. Still have to check it, but they're not willing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Big just yet. There's no A-Ramp control. It's all given away. They're going to oh. give it some space to wall it off, and they spot this execution, and they manage to just stagger it. They've split it in half now. It's a bit difficult for Big to deal with. But Wave Esports aren't happy with the situation either. You are divided! Here comes the ult. Seems like Big will divide the site of A. Will Wave have any of that? Just around the corner, side of the way. They want to make no parts like behind the wall, but this is a brilliant what? paranoia. This is insane stuff. That side of the livers, they felt safe, but at the same time, a single man and a single flash. This is once more turning it around. Everything looked in favor of big, but suddenly the story turns around. We can talk about that. Cosmic Divide and a Rolling Thunder combo in a second because it ended up going super poorly left. for Big. Gobby has a big clutch to do. It's time to get this spike down and some respect has been given. The paint shell is going to force Gobby away. Holding close. Five health is there. Good for two. Oh. Muri has to sneak in with the pistol of all things to Classic. 
to get this to 7-3. I don't know if we have a replay of it, but I think that if you put the Cosmic Divide in the same position that we saw um, coming out of Alex R, you're almost welcome insider to take that peek, right? Because he uses the Paranoia, jumps out, a fine line ahead of him of players that are making their way through because of that utility. I just feel that like you're giving him a chance to make a play like that, and I'm not a fan of how big set that up over. Oh, Here we go. Feet. Like, Sider's always going to play in that position. Paranoia's, everybody lines up nicely. That's not hard to achieve if you're Sider. Like, the wall's good at sort of splitting up A ramp, pushing people back, but more than anything, it allows Wave Esports to keep a hold of those grounds and not be punished for it. That's true, because such such a wall, at the end of the day, if it's that long and has a long entrance exit kind of area, you can come in from any angle and you can check through the entire thing. You can stay on the line and check the entire thing, and this is then becoming a problem. Big with issues so far. Sider can dodge it. They can zero damage. Just gets by. It was a nice idea. It was maybe something that Sider wasn't expected to be in that position with the Gravity Well and Page Shell combination. But now you have a raise all the way in A-Ramp. The Execute is wanted to get going for big. Like the boost roll. But there's no other utility the race has available. They can't be the tip of the spear, so the Rolling Thunder has to do that again. It connects onto Karkas, but all of Wave are here preparing for this. Nobody's clearing all of these angles. Sider's managed to slip in, loses that duel, and actually, Bigger managed to trade itself nicely and bring in the Resurrect, but nobody's expecting Cactus on the site. Ridiculous stuff. Again, th this looked like an advantage. This looked no. like it went the way of Big. And at the end of the day, they have to capitulate once more. As the spike might just go down, this land holds it. And. And he hears the drop smart. Ooh, nice. He can't play him that easily. And his ult pays oh. off. You can't you can't outplay this man. Too much matchmaking, too much prac. Aslan too smart. I mean it's two players trying to work out what the one's gonna do next. I, I think Side is getting he a bit ahead of himself and dropping onto the low ground. But this is still expensive. The resurrect gets used, Carcass finds an angle. Got B, just ha you have to accept your feet there overall. One enemy remaining. But this play, you know, the fight between Aslan and Zik right at the end, both of these players have been big performers so far, especially Zik for pass. Wave. 7 5 is a really good way for Big to finish this half overall, and Wave, well, they're going to want to make it 8 4. They have the ultimates to do so. And an awkward pause <laughs> at the worst time. Means that, like, the spawn doors are still closed. It just looks like it. It's almost, it almost feels like a parody of, like, a battle that's happening. And it's like, hold on, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> All right, everybody stood there frozen, like, can we go? What's going on? <laughs> it feels a little bit like this could be a rehearsal before the final show starts and yeah exactly. director is really unhappy like guys come on get back this in is position avengers end game and it's like hold on the portal won't open wait a minute guys we we, we need a moment make up lady it's ridiculous this is <laughs> it's like they're all they're all frozen i think that would actually be a good idea when the pause timer is on that nobody should be able to move but either way that, that's just you know philosophic and Murray's I, I think that just a pause should just have one. Five seconds, but straight into the action. Straight away, his Karkos is going to run right into Aslan. Awkward engagement, but right the flash eight. is good enough. Sider can't be traded out or punished. Gobby's going to upgrade his gun a little bit and just peeks this corner. Doesn't expect Murray to be as close. He still wins out that fight. Three versus three. This has pretty much given me whiplash with how quickly this one turned around. A wave is still spread across the map, as are both teams. Big is starting to default and... Slow this down now that we've got over that pause. Well, it takes a lot of room at the moment. This is the thing, right? A fifth round for big? That'd be decent. I think that would be actually a good half considering to we're talking about split. But again, Wave getting a little weaker throughout the process of a half, a reoccurring theme. Got a cheeky position from Cider. Are they going to clear it? Well, they don't clear Nico properly. The fault line actually doesn't go through. Gobby's actually going to force Nico to scarper a little bit. The flash is just going to 
Make sure that you can get to safety. The numbers advantage now for Wave. And Cider was looking towards their own spawn, and it allows an opening for Alexar to sneak through. If he was a bit more patient, waiting for that angle, that's an easy kill to get. And now the lurking God B is something that Wave need to be very careful of. Gop giving so much attention towards ropes probably gave Cider some chills that he would just drop down any second soon. Obviously, that didn't happen. And now it needs to be Wave that needs to be on the scene and plug off some heads, because otherwise it will be big in a comfortable spot. Alex is hiding behind the screens as much as possible. Gop doing the same. And at that point, he doesn't need to move, because nice. Alex is still around. That is solid stuff. Big week in just... the beginning. Yeah, very weak. Switching Wavy Sports were starting to pull ahead. There was six free up, but a good response from Big to take those final few rounds. The timing on these peaks, Cider was a bit too in the zone, I think, overall. Gobby takes up first peak, goes to safety. Alexar takes the second peak, goes to safety. That's nice teamwork that we've never seen Big t play that tight before. Now they're on the defense. They're only two rounds behind. Winning the pistol brings the honors even if they can get that second round after the pistol, of course. Wave in the lead, as they should have been after the defense. But this could be a really rocky attack in half. And if they don't get it right, well, Big will be your champions. And this is the point in time where you got to do it from start on. Again, specific specifically, if Aslan is waking up a slight bit more. In the sense that he takes his usual carry role, for example, we saw on the previous map. Might be hella impressed. But now Bishop easily takes the orb and moves back. Look who has taken the main control. How about that? Who's starting to sneak around? I mean, both these omens are keeping an eye on each other to make sure that one doesn't overstep the mark. But Bishop managed to slip by the cyber cage. Nobody's going to check so this smart. corner. They all line up. It's just El Clasico chipping away at Wave. Broken against the rocks. They're going to back off as a five versus three is there for big on this defense. Fault line could be in a good spot if Kax is ready to regress, but the timing needs to be perfect. They do get the stun in. It's a nice fight, but Bishop still gets another. No way. If I think obtain control, surely the mad advantage is a big. A few careless mistakes, and suddenly it just it all goes south. You see them right there, keeping the ground over in front of the gates of B. Now Carcass is a little bit more scared on. You go down A main, you try and fight for this ramp control. Well, there's three players, or two at least for Big, that are now ready to come around the corner. And this conditioning might make things awkward for Wave, who might want to execute quickly, that might want to fight back with the composition that they have. Bishop finding this spot was good. I like the re-aggression with the fault line. But Big was just prepped in various angles. It was tough for Wave to get their, their hooks in onto that A site. And this pistol, like I said, pivotal for Big to even up the scores and without looking to spend any money. Knock knocks. As Nicholas said before, Cover going on. when we were just off stream, he mentioned very much Knock knocks who did a good job, but the main thing was that the team who were pushing A so much gave him that room. For now, Aslan is just taking the room. Dick and Mori are out of the equation. No big surprises, I would say. The tie should be immediate, shouldn't it? Fault line gravity well, paint shell combination. It's beautiful on paper, but it doesn't quite execute as well to get an entry onto wave. They're all still looming into mid. Aslan's ready for another flash peek if he can get that support, but instead holding a close angle. His check, the widest peak is still the one that gets cleared out, and Gobby with the flash from distance. Gonna get that free K. It was 6 3 before for wave, now it's 7 all big. 1-0 up already in this series. Now even on score. Crazy stuff we're witnessing, really. This is wonderful. And big. They originally deviated a lot from big. Gotta say that, but... A cunning lead is bringing them in the right direction, as well as, obviously, individuals that flourish massively. The one scrap back of Germany... Is becoming a solid unit. Still a good walk they need to come through, because otherwise, Wave could catch them when they are killed. Three players pushed up, well, more two now at this point when it comes to A main. 
Sat around the smoke. They know that a Cypher likes to lurk in that position, but they're still going to do their best to just really make it awkward. Zick wins that duel. Bobby isn't too far, but he doesn't want to get staggered here. Pretty much opens it up for Wave to play for this attack execute. But Zick just trying to lurk away into the shadows. Gobby has managed to slip him by as well. If he can catch Carcass here, that would be an interesting one. But no, Carcass is well aware that the push could continue. Surely that spike gets picked up in front towards the A site. And what an alluring scenario for Wave to attack the A site. They got two players eliminated there, but they're not sticking to that. If it is actually them being smarter, or them playing out playing themselves, we're going to find that out. Topnox is peeking out, finding a good edge on Muri, and also amazing paranoia with another smoke coming. He definitely denies it and can't even move out. Muri's low HP. They are hesitant with their attack right here, Ryan, but the flashes are on point, which leave it down to Opnox. He finds one, but should be eliminated immediately. I mean, it was a nice idea, I suppose, from Wave. Those two early kills on A, they know that one player of big has to go over there just to check if it's safe or not. Means that there's only going to be at least two players left for big over on that B site. They only lose one player. It was a nice execute. The flashes working out pretty much perfectly on the side of Nico. Well, Xar, one boy he actually gets it too, but Nico, a tight trade and a sight line. Make sure that Alexar can't have the clutch of his life. But awkward for big, considering mm -hmm. they had that early aggression go caught. That's cool. Gotta make an atonement for that. It was your mistake, our fault, not gonna happen again. And I understand. You say it. that. You say it's not gonna happen again. That was Obnox's full map against All the Rage. Was, <laughs> but not it just a. came from a different area. I mean, Zick is not the kind of player that you want to tango with in an area like that. He's very good with his movement and positioning. I think one of the top sentinel players in all of Europe, honestly. He gets overlooked a little bit because of waves under performances. But he's always a, a top player. Muri finding an entry onto Obnox, make sure that there's no nasty lurks that are coming through. Wave have been a bit slower recently, but these last two rounds have been a lot more punchier. He have a resurrect just in case things go a bit wrong. I like to see Aslan with the judge. A reoccurring theme that I enjoy. I thought they were going to retake this space to go for the res. In fact, they just take the gun away from Obnox. The Sage, as you're seeing on the minimap, is over on A, so there's no real chance for that Resurrect to be used, at least on where Obnox has died. Wave really like to do this. It's very fluid, excuse the pun, when it comes to how these executes and defaults work. It's slow. They go into the space that's left for them against Big. And somehow bigger, a little bit paranoid that it's going to be an A hit. They have the right inkling. The Spider Sense is tingling. Bishop getting that information allows Big to set up. Like to know what's up. A weird move from Bishop left. going for the heal. Must have been a misclick, at least is what it looked like. But they got an opportunity. You're going B. Yeah, exactly. They got an opportunity to switch fast, but look who's coming back from spawn. Are they going to expect Yuri to have closed that distance? Not at all. Nice play to work the map. And that's what I mean. They just find those crevices and openings across this A. Uh, well, just across the split site on the attack. Oh, and here. Big. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, he has so much space. But this didn't make sense to me. Why you use the smoke instead of the gravity well? Especially when there's a nade coming down there. This would have been the perfect opportunity to hold him up because you can push for a smoke. It doesn't make a change. It doesn't hold you up in any physical way. But then the gravity well could have been an absolute game changer in my eyes, at least. Still a lot for these teams to get over. Like, heat at the moment is where things start to go a little bit wrong. Big have dedicated some utility just to try and feed up some of those ultimates. Obnox spots one. Gonna force out some utility. Still try to hold his ground. The fault line doesn't actually connect onto him. Does well to avoid it completely, but he's not giving up. Has to respect the Astra utility. That's exactly why Astra's so good. Dodged all of that utility. A star goes down. Ooh, need to be careful. He TV flashed his teammate! It wasn't actually Breach, Part I no, fought no, for no, a second, was, that was Gob. It was a big flash. Right. That was a per perfect one. It could have been two kills there if we strung it together. But that's going to put a bit more pressure onto Wave. They've already lost two players, one of which was over in sewers. 
wave up to try and make something up. Oh, and here comes the party. You say it. Aslan wants to get them away. And he's taking a lot of room off of that one direction. I know he was really exactly hungry for a kill. I think he overstepped the boundary a little bit, and the Nerofest is going to be used to get that information. Bishop, though, they see him for a split left. second, and Sider just doesn't react. He's so focused on trying to take that early fight on Mail. Got is in a cheeky position, only with the classic Pepper's through. And a thrifty round for Big manages to keep that differential between the two teams down to one map. One of the weirdest rounds this I think. Flash. This is teamwork. This is what I love so much. Whoever initiates the idea to get flashy, I love it. In combination specifically with the flat with the smoke that was on the entry, the one guy who was guarding exactly that angle that would have not been flashed is out of the equation. Ah, I, I also got this wrong as well, where I thought the Astra Star goes down as an aggressive tool because you see a lot of the stars put there as a gravity well to finish up Nox. Wave, of course, aren't running an Astra. That Astra Star was put down to allow Obnox to get that kill and to instantly smoke it and protect mm. it. So it wasn't just Obnox and the Breach playing together. You also have the Astra working well on the timing. Came together really nicely. I'm just so used to both teams running Astra there. And it would be nice to actually see what's an attacker star, what's a defending star. It's just <laughs> a common position to put a gravity well to pull a player in that's playing, you know, in a very cheeky spot. The fact that Wave Esports are expecting Obnox to be playing from a similar position here Kinda says it all. You don't need to worry about the Astro Star color this time around, which doesn't even exist. But Cover going this time around, Big did you a favor. Or Wave, depends, but I feel We're you. gonna look back in like three years time, where we have all of these like UI changes, and yeah. we'll look back at casting this and go, how did we ever manage? <laughs> when you go, oh, like no color utility for either side is horrible, but Big, uh, much better recently. They've been in a really tough form, and the rolling fund is so nice too to allow Obnox to get those extra kills. Ooh. The stun's more worked out in favor for Wave Esports in the end. Thirty seconds left. And doesn't does know. Be at... Yeah, he doesn't know. Uh oh. Sick is still not making a move, but there he does. Oh, for a second I was worried. And talking about thrifty, it seems standing. like Wave can do the same. Oh no. I have so many questions. Definitely the buy time is going to help us with that, but Alex has to do it on his own. The double is secure. The triple could just come his way. Is he going to stick it? Yes, he does. He's going to half it. That's for sure. Murray's just around the corner, but Alex got the balls of steel. The man is sticking it. He finds the number nine for big. And this is big time play from Mr. Frisch. I can't believe he did. Like, something just possesses him. He's like, right, gotta go. Suddenly, I've taken all this damage. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Who's first? Takes that guy. I'm gonna stick the spike even though there's one player left. Who does that? Even you saw even Muri kind of react, walk over to him, and be like, really? Did you really just do that in front of me? But then at the I... same time, Ryan, we have the ult from Gop in that sense. Oh, what is this game? Really? What is it? There's, there's pros don't fake, and then there's absolute psychopaths don't fake. <laughs> you can decide. I'd love to see the comms on that, because Alex just decides, screw it. I, I'm, I'm running through this paint shell. I'm going to break this tripwire, and then wide peek into two people, still survive, and you stick a defuse in a 1v1. Aslan with a big mistake, though. That... <laughs> Beery instantly <sighs> gets raised, goes down straight away, 4v4 still. I'm not quite sure if, if Bob shot at the corpse of Aslan saying, big mistake boy, don't do it again. In the meantime though, Opnox strikes. A single guard of the side is absolutely outrageous, but Nico is on it to take him down. Big with only two soldiers standing. Aslan is back. I'm quite surprised that Wave gave up this space quite freely for B Tower. Slot off that corner. Wave are in nice post plant positions at least. A little bit of a, a line to set this up. The Cosmic div it pretty much lines up with where Wave Esports are playing from at this point. Now they have to push through. Stick is coming through. They might just stick it again, but it's a nice opportunity to flash in. Now Aslan in a 1 versus 2 is going to run right into a crossfire. Can't even get one. 
Always feels a big have to come from behind in these rounds to yeah. make it work, but Wave played that one up nicely. I mean, those were some odd mistakes you saw there. I mean, previously from two rounds ago, I didn't understand why Gob used his ult, but this is in the past past. Now Aslan, with such a smoke, not coming in with the opportunity that his opponent already went further? Yeah, it's easy for us to say, right? But at the same time, unusual. Wave, three rounds away. And Big on a fairly bad high. Gotta make some magic. Work. Trying to set up some mastery utility very early on. It's not really there to get a kill, but it at least makes Wave Esports reconsider. Use some of that early uh -oh. utility from Wave. Give it up. Well, look who's on the hunt. It's John Wick not himself, with but... <laughs> A short sequel. Muri just with the Vandal with a better gun knows to sort of expect that thing. If there's a round to try it on, it's going to be an eco for big, to be fair. Numbers yeah. still in their favor. Just all of these cheeky angles to clear. Yeah, but Aslan, I think, is a, such an unusual angle. I think that's why God B's playing a very baity spot. Yeah, you know, exactly. He's going to get spotted, use utility, sort of flash out. Here I Take am. that attention away from where Aslan's played, because there's no way that we've check it or expect it. But who knows at this point, considering they found Obnox in their spawn, they might just be a bit more paranoid of things like that. Yeah, that was Obnox feeling very free. At the same time, you can still get out of the gravity well, which is a good thing. Otherwise, this agent is way too old. But look who's going to meet. They're going to take the side. That's all great. But there is one chance in form of Aslan, but he's going to meet his counterpart beforehand. Oh, no. Nice idea, but Muri just expects it more. Bishop with the Sheriff. Like, brings, it to, ooh, brings it to a 5 versus 3 now. Or 3 versus 1, even. Let's head Chuck. Pick up a gun. Oh, I wasn't expecting Muri on that angle. The stun pretty much dooms him in the paint shell. Oh, this is a weird way to go out, but somehow Bishop survives. 30 seconds on the heel, he's not going to have that available. Naturally catches onto the back of Nico. Oh, he Can't get the kill. Unlucky. Well, and as the round that should be named the Bob Dylan round has finished. It is Why the Bob Dylan, Dylan round? It's I, Because he sang the song, I Shot the Sheriff. I mean, you ha it's not... <laughs> You have to kind of explain those things because I, ne <laughs> I never would have guessed that. But no, you know, no, you can, you know, you can join me, or 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 despise it and say it's a horrible idea. One of the two. I mean, it's fine. I think it's just going to take a little while for people to get that ingrained in their head because that wasn't the first connection I made. No, understandably, I don't blame you. Be actually getting an important kill. Just these last few rounds, it's been close. There's been a few wacky rides for both teams, but we've spots have been a little bit more clinical with their approach as we get towards the end of split. Out in the open. Oh, I know. I mean, exactly they, I'm, I would be so surprised if they know oh, no, Cider is around because I'm so convinced that Aslan must have told that he heard the teleport in mid. That didn't happen. Cider capitalizes. Opnox is coming around, but the paranoia doesn't hit him. A rifle of cider does. I actually think the winner of this round mostly is going to be that neural theft. It's just because big like to play from so many cute positions. Ooh, that's a nice pin show. Ooh, whoever oh, gets a kill on Tadeko, I was expecting that. Showstopper actually doesn't get fired out at all as Kakas oh, wins that right. duel, but the slipper out from Gobby's a big one. 1v1 again. Who knows? Rolling oh. Thunder right in the corner, wasn't even aiming it in the general direction, and Cider. Puts Wave Esports on match point. match point. This is the difference, though. It's come down to close stuff, but those those decisions, the neural theft to find Big in these wacky positions that they like to play from. And then suddenly, Big just wake up. That's a big mistake, losing the showstopper like that. But it's really coming down to it. Wave Esports can send us to a third map if they win this next one. Look at Big's buy. I would imagine that it's in favor for doing that for Wave. Here comes the attack. Immediate stun coming in. Mirror's just going on. He's just holding W as long as possible. Still trying to attack. Still trying to make the move. But for now, it seems 
How can he actually get up ramp? How can he obtain so much control at this point? It's still solid stuff, and big... I'm not quite sure if they're aware of him. It feels a big... Tend to play from these positions, but Wavy Esports have been so good at just slipping in through to certain areas. Unexpected, catching big from behind, flanking around them, expected big on these flanks. Now the showstopper on the attack wants to put this to bed. It takes Gobby out the server for potentially the last round on split. You're clearing off the back of the site, allows for this plant to go in relatively unharmed. Aslan with the sheriff wants to slip in behind. Bishop makes this a little bit more consistent, but the corner doesn't get checked. Sider from this position clears it out nicely. We're going to the full best of three. 13-9 for Wave on this map. Much better for Big on this, considering they lost it 13-2, but just not good enough. <laughs> it was ridiculous stuff we just watched, really. I mean, this has been... Once more so tied, Big looked like they could have had the opportunity, but then they slip up from time to time. And this is where you'll love to see such a fight. Icebox seemed a little scrappy, to be frank, from, from earlier on. If it's going to be a game changer, though, Ryan, we're going to find out. We will head into a little break. You shouldn't go anywhere because it's the grand final of the Valorant Vanquisher series by Yura GG. We'll just be right back.